Welcome to the Red Bull Ring for the very best action from the International GT Open. We're back after the summer break and over halfway through the season. The Orange One Team Lazarus Lamborghini of Fabrizio Cristani and Thomas Biaggi lead the standings, but there are lots of other cars who could easily claim the title. Let's take a look at the very best of the action from Austria. The undulating and compact layout of the Red Bull Ring always makes for great racing in the International GT Open. Heading into Turn 1, at the start of the first encounter it all got very crowded. Duncan Tappy and Peter Schottorst emerging out front as pole sitter Andrea Caldarelli in the SF Racing Ferrari got swamped. In the early stages, Tappy did everything he could do to hold off the pair of Teo Martin Motorsport BMWs that eventually Schottorst and Jakman found their way past. Gustavo Jakman, however, picked up a drive-through penalty for his antics at the start. Meanwhile, Mario Plaschuta was flying in the racing Mercedes after Alex West put up a dogged defence in the second Garage 59 McLaren. Jakman's drive-through penalty plummeting him down the order. Frustration for Fernando Mornier as his job was going to get much harder. That said, Jakman was flying. He got the car working to his liking. He was busy scything back up the order passing both Busnelli and Caldarelli. And also Sammy Yuluk and the TF Sport Aston Martin. All of this happening before the mid-race pit stops whereupon everything changed. Out front however in the latter stages it's Miguel Ramos who was clear the reigning champion having his third victory of the season, his first in partnership with Peter Schotthorst. Delight for the Teo Martin Motorsport squad. Second place went to Thomas Jaeger and Mario Plaschuta with Adam Carroll and Sean Bauf taking third in the McLaren. All smiles then in the sunshine at Spielberg. Great, great job from the team, great job from Peter, everything went well, strategy perfect, no mistakes, just take the car to the end, really good, really good, really good, very happy, very happy. And for this young man, it's the first win in the GT Open, how you feel? It was an interesting uh, first part of the race. Yeah, the first part of the race was very tight. We helped them with the setup. Right? <laughs> Uh, it was a good fight with uh, Duncan Teppi, it was on the edge, but I think it was a good fight and uh, afterwards we managed to pull away a bit. The car was doing, uh, doing very well, so uh, we did our job and I'm very happy. On to race two and once more, BMW has been the cast beat in qualifying. It's Miguel Ramos who led into the first turn, clear of Adam Carroll and then Fernando Monnier. Laura Prent and very close attention in the Garage 59 McLaren. Also looking to make ground was the championship leading Orange 1 Team Lazarus Lamborghini of Thomas Biaggi and Fabrizio Cristani. The Red Bull Ring always lends itself to some excellent and close racing and late on we had some brilliant dicing for third position as Alex West was able to pull every move in the book to keep Peter Schottorst and Sean Balf behind him. That over-ambitious move from Schottorst eventually saw the BMW slithering down the order. His mouth was able to capitalise, found some space and he's clear into four. Nonetheless, it was pretty close all the way to the line. Ewan Hankey joining in the battle as well. As was Duncan Tappy out front. Gustavo Jakman, Fernando Monnier, it was their first victory of the season and one that brings them into the championship fight with just four races remaining. So it was a double win over the weekend for the Teo Martin Motorsport team. Second place for Biaggi and Crestani helping their title charge with Alex West holding on to claim third alongside Alvaro Peren. Jubilation for the Colombian and Spaniard in Austria. First of all, great thanks to all the mechanics at Teo Martin Motorsports. They have done an amazing job all year long. And like you said, well deserved. We've been fighting for this. I think in Spa we had one in the pocket and it just didn't happen for us. And we've been struggling all year since then, just getting in second, getting in second, getting in second. And now really happy that we finally got this maiden win. Fernando did a great job in the start, just staying clean and running good times. And 
it was pretty straightforward for me, just keeping up with the pace and uh, bringing it at home. Fernando, it was a success maybe also built yesterday. Exactly, yeah. We saw maybe um, the strategy was very important that we finished in P4. Maybe we were about to, to fight the second position, but we thought it was, was better keeping in fourth, taking out the handicap we had, keeping the second set of tires for today. It really worked. We got the first victory, I think, well deserved, as Gustavo said. And yeah, super happy to be here and just now just looking uh, forward for the last two races and keeping in that direction. With four races remaining, the title fight is coming to the boil nicely. Cristalian Biaggi lead the way, but Sean Bell is still in strong contention in second place, as are both of the Terra Marti Motorsport BMWs. Fernando Monnier and Gustavo Yakman tied on points with Miguel Ramos. In short, it's a four-way fight with just a quartet of races to go.